Hi everyone! Today I wanted to share how I display and store all of our toys and hands-on activities. We keep some toys and hands-on activities stored away in cupboards because I like rotating those around, usually on a weekly basis. I'll show how I store all that later in this video, but I'll start off with the rest of our toys that don't get put away. At the top, there's a little bit of greenery, a pounder from Wooden Story, some wooden trucks and the Grimm's large rainbow. Now these toys are neatly stored in three trophy shelves from IKEA in our living room. Usually they come with grooves for nine single tubs in three columns, but we cut the one in the middle because we just didn't need those extra tub spaces. Also, just a quick note, we keep this area pretty clean. I find that a clean space is much more inviting for creativity. My kids will sometimes play with multiple tubs at the same time, but they always clean up before they move on to the next thing. When my son was younger, I would clean up with him after we finished playing, but now he does it on his own. My daughter has been watching this for a while now and I'm happy to say that even though she's still quite little, she cleans up after herself with a little bit of help from us of course. We have our cute toys ball run and over here on this side we have the children's play kitchen from Kidcraft. Up on the top are some shelves we collected, colored rice, devil's ivy in a clay pot that they painted and put their handprints on. All the wooden utensils and cups are things I bought from Etsy. And here is our nature basket. I always keep a magnifying glass there because they love exploring things they find. So now moving on to all the things I keep in storage. I use two cupboards to store all that. This is the left hand side of one of the cupboards. And this is just a quick glance of what it looks like. So now at the very top I have a tub full of extra art and craft supplies. 
Then inside that shelf, which is from IKEA by the way, is where I keep some DIY activities and a shape soda. Also just wanted to say that these cupboards or closets are kitted out with IKEA shelves for storage purposes. Next we have lots of stackers, nesting boxes and shape sorters. Below those I keep all the puzzles and then I have six boxes full of activities. Moving on to the right hand side of the cupboard, this is just a quick glance. So at the top I keep all the kits we need for our unit studies. I like to plan ahead and have everything ready. And here I have some extra art supplies and putty. Here I keep some craft activities that are ready to go. I sort of call them invitation to create trays. And I put them out in the activity shelves and let them create whatever they want with the materials they have. This has been fantastic for us and they enjoy it a lot. Down here I have a box full of craft supplies. Things like pom-poms, feathers, styrofoam eggs, dried leaves and seeds, pipe cleaners and a whole bunch of other goodies. In this last cube, I have a loom that we use for our weaving projects, a paper making kit and inside this green tub, I keep our wood burning tools, a pom pom making kit, hot glue guns, extra yarn and all the felting tools. Now moving on to the second storage cupboard. This is a quick glance of the right hand side. So at the top I usually store big items like the weighing balance and the mat balance when not in use. And underneath here I have a whole array of things like counters, flip charts, based in blocks, centimeter cubes, pattern blocks, attribute blocks and so forth. Here I have numerous activity cards, based in mats and geo boards.
here I have some large paper stacks from the Handwriting Without Tears program and our rainbow pebbles which are pretty awesome. Here I have some random items like geosolids, a globe and extra interlocking cubes. Now I usually keep these two boxes empty. When we are doing a specific unit study, I fill these up with activities relating to whatever unit we are doing. Right now, we are in the middle of doing an astronomy space science unit. So as you can see, I have filled them up with activities. In this one, I have all the experiments we are doing. Before we start any unit, I plan out all the experiments and get all the supplies. After that, I just bag and tag them so whenever we are ready, we can grab one of these bags from the box and all the materials are ready to go. Doing this has saved me lots of time. And when I'm putting these experiments together, my son helps me so that way he's involved in the process as well. In here, more experiments. We made an oven, a light box and a projector. Down here, more activities for astronomy unit. Now this is the left hand side of the second storage cupboard. Up at the top, I store a lot of the Montessori materials. And in this box here, I have more puzzles and literacy activities. I try to keep some empty spaces so I have a place for items that I might purchase later down the track. Down here we keep our go board and the Yunsi stones that go with it. In these hanging boxes, I just keep flashcards. So that's really it. I like to keep things neat and tidy so I can easily find what I need. This is the way I store things currently and it seems to be working for now.